Standard 2.1a in seventh grade, and we're also going to be looking at topics under the study island lesson, compare and order numbers. And then we're going to be looking at today and how to convert numbers from decimals, percents, and fractions, which is three different ways to re represent a number. And so, and then comparing them and which one's bigger and which one's smaller. And so, as we're going through these problems and notes, please be taking your own notes so you have something to reference when you're trying them on your own and something to study from. And you can always pause and then rewind if I go too fast. And then you can also pause at the beginning of the question, work the problem out yourself, and then watch the video so you can say, oh, I'm doing this really good here, but I made this little mistake here, um, so that you can learn from that mistake and try better next time. So I'm so glad that you're joining us today, and let's go ahead and take some notes. So today we're going to be looking at how to convert numbers <clears throat> from fractions, decimals, and percentages. So between all those three forms. And this is just something you're going to have to practice, so you might look up some additional practice online. And the reason that we're doing this is so that we can compare numbers. Every number can be represented as a fraction, a decimal, or a percentage in these problems. So if you're starting with a fraction and you need to convert that to a decimal, you are going to take the numerator, the top of the fraction, and place it underneath the division symbol and take the denominator and place it outside of the division symbol and work through your long division steps. If you're given a fraction and you need to take it to a percent, you're first going to have to convert it to a decimal, and then you can either multiply by 100 or move the decimal two places to the right, and that's add your percent symbol and you have your percent number. So here, 1 fourth is the same as 0.25 and 25 percent. If you're starting with a decimal and you will need to go to a percentage, you can either multiply that by 100 or move the decimal point two places to the right and add the percent symbol. If you have a, if you need to convert that decimal to a fraction, you're going to look at the last digit and see what place value it's in. So here, the last digit is in the hundredths column, so that means I'm going to put this decimal over 100, so 75 over 100, and then reduce it. So 0 0.75 is the same as 75% and 3 fourths. If you're starting with a percentage and need to convert that to a fraction, all percentages, if you get a perfect, that's 100%. So all percentages are out of 100. So I'm going to put 40 over 100, and then I'm going to reduce it. And then to do a decimal, you can either divide it by 100, or you can move the decimal two points to the two places to the left. So 40% is the same as two fifths and 0.40. So here's just another visual for you to help you to see that all numbers can be represented as a fraction, decimal, or a percent. So here the number, and these are just some common ones that you might you might use a lot and be helpful to have memorized. So here you have the fraction 1 over 1 or 1 is the same as 1, and that's 100%. That's the whole circle. 1 third is the same as 0.3 repeating. That's what that line means, and that's 33.3 .3 repeating percent. 1 fourth is the same as 0.25, is the same as 25%. 1 fifth of the circle is the same as 0.2 and 20%. 1 eighth is the same as 0.125 and 12.5%. And you can go ahead and pause and look at the rest of these also. The last little bit of notes we're going to need to know is that when we are comparing, numbers can either be equal, greater than, or less than. So you want to keep track you know, which one is the greater than symbol and which is the less than symbol. The less than symbol sometimes is helpful for me to think of an L, and if I squish the L up, that makes the less than symbol. So here I'm asked to compare two numbers. When they, in comparing two numbers, they have to be in the same form. So they all have to be decimals, they all have to be percents, or they all have to be fractions. 
So you're going to look at it and you're going to have to think, okay, which, is it easier for me to convert this to a fraction or is it easier for me to convert this to a decimal? Well, I'm thinking this 4 here is in the tenths column, so I'm going to go ahead and put that as a fraction. So since it's in the, that last digit is in the tenths place, I'm going to put a 4 over 10. And then I have a 7 over 10, and my fractions have the same denominator, which fractions need to have to compare them. So 4 tenths is going to be smaller than 7 tenths. So I'm going to use the less than symbol. So that's going to make my final answer here B. This problem here, I'm going to convert the 5 eighths to a decimal. Because when I convert decimals to fractions, they always have like a 10 or a 100 or a 1,000 underneath them. And so since this 8 isn't one of those like we had in the last problem, I'm going to convert the 5 eighths to a decimal. So when I do that, my 8 is going to go out front of the division symbol, and the 5 is going to go underneath, and the 5 is smaller than the 8, so I'm going to have to go ahead and add the decimal and add a 0. And so I'm going to see how many times does 8 go into 50. 8 goes into 50 six times. 6 times 8 is 48, and I subtract those, and I'm left with 2. So I still have a remainder, so I'm going to add another 0. I'm going to bring that 0 down. And then I'm going to think, how many times does 8 go into 20? 8 goes into 20 two times. 2 times 8 is 16. I subtract those. I'm left with 4. So I still have a remainder. So I'm going to add one more 0 and see if that will get rid of my remainder. And I bring that 0 down. 8 goes into 40 five times. 5 times 8 is 40. I subtract those, and I'm left with 0. So I have no remainder this time. So that means 8 fifths is the same as 0.625. And my other decimal I was given is 0.662. So I'm going to have to compare this here to see which one's bigger. So when I compare decimals, I look at the decimal places from left to right. So here, the sixes are the same. So I'm going to have to look go to the next number. Then I have a 2 and a 6. The 2 is smaller than the 6, so that means 0.625 is going to be the smaller number. So I'm going to be using a less than symbol here, which makes my final answer B. So here I have a percent and a decimal, so I have to think, do I want to make them both decimals or both percents? Both ways are equally easy in my opinion, so I'm going to choose to write the percent as a decimal. And to do that, I move the decimal place two places to the, the left. And when I do that, my decimal place is now at the beginning. So I have a negative 0.61. And then my other number was also a negative 0.61. And so these numbers are exactly the same. So I'm going to use an equal sign to compare them which is letter B. This problem here, I have two fractions, but this fraction here is improper, so I'm going to want to reduce it first to make it easier to compare. 8 over 2 is the same as 4, so I'm going to have 3 and a half and 4. 4 is going to be my bigger number, so I'm going to use the less than symbol because 3 and a half is less than 4, which is going to make my final answer A. So this problem here, I have a fraction and I have a percent. So if I want to convert this fraction to a percentage, I'm going to have to convert it to a decimal first. And so it's because this bottom denominator is a 10, then I know that the, I can put the negative 7 in the tenths place. To convert it and so it's a little easier to convert that because it has a 10 in the denominator I can put it in the tenths place I can only do that for numbers that are 1 and zeros so 10 100 a thousand any of those numbers in the denominator I can take that shortcut for and then to convert it to a percent I'm going to move the decimal two places to the right so that means I'm gonna to have to fill in a zero 
that means this is going to be negative 70%. And I'm going to be comparing that to 65%. Negative 65%. And so when I think about that, negative 65%, that number is getting closer to zero. It's getting bigger. So that's going to be my bigger number. So that means negative 70% is less than negative 65%. So my final answer here is going to be C, less than. So this problem here, I have a fraction and a percent. So that I'm going to go ahead and try converting this 70% to a fraction. So all percentages are out of 100. 100% is a perfect. So I'm going to put 70 over 100. And then I'm going to reduce that. I'm going to divide a 10 out of it out of the top and the bottom to reduce it. 70 divided by 10 is 7. 100 divided by 10 is 10. So now I have 3 fifths and 7 tenths. I can't compare them until they have a common denominator. So to make a common denominator here would be 10. So 5 times 2 would be 10. So I have to multiply the top and the bottom of 3 fifths by 2. 3 times 2 is 6, so now I have two fractions with a common denominator that I can compare. 7 tenths is going to be the bigger fraction, so 6 tenths is less than 7 tenths, so it's going to make A my final answer. So in this problem here, I need to first, it asked me to put these numbers in ascending order. So I'm going to need to put them all in the same form. Well, two of them are percents already, so I'm going to change this middle decimal to a percent. And to do that, I move the decimal two places to the right. So that means I'm going to have to fill in a zero. So this is going to be 30%. And so then I have 70% and 14%. I need to write them in ascending order. So that means I start with the smallest number, 14%. And then I write the middle number, 30%, and then I write the biggest number, 70%. Well, this 30% here was originally 0.3, so they're going to write it as 0.3, the original number, in the answer. So I'm looking for 14%, 0 0.3, and 70% as my answer, which is choice C. This problem here, they're asking us once again to put these numbers in ascending order. So I have one of each type, so I'm going to have to convert them all to the same type. And it's your choice what you want to do. I'm going to choose to convert them all to fractions, so or all to decimals. So I'm going to have to take my first fraction here and write it as a division problem. So the 5 is going to go out front with the 3 underneath. 5 can't go into 3, so I'm going to have to add in a decimal. In both the problem, both the, the dividend and the answer. So five goes into thirty six times. Six times five is thirty, and I have no remainder when I subtract those. So three fifths is the same as point six. Okay, my next thing is the ninety nine percent. It convert a percent. I move the decimal two places to the left, so that's going to be point ninety nine. And then I have 0.2. So ascending order, I'm going to write the smallest one first. So looking at the tenths column, I have a 6, a 9, and a 2. The 2 is the smallest number there, so it's going to be 0.2 first. The 6 is the middle number, so 0.6 in the middle. And then 9 is the biggest, so 0.99 at the end. And then in the answers, they're just going to write those numbers like I originally saw them. So 0 0.2. 0.6 was the 3 fifths, and 0.99 was the 99%. So that means I, choice A is going to be my final answer. Thank you for joining us today, and I hope you learned something new.